What's up guys and welcome to another Next Step Outdoors gear review. Today we are going to be doing a complete pack dump and running through all of the gear that I take with me every single time into the woods. Hopefully a couple of these items can give you just a slight advantage this fall and help you be more successful. As always, if you get any bit of value at all out of these videos, hit the thumbs up button, smash if that's something you're into, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time now and I think it's perfect timing. Things are starting to slow down a little bit and this is a great time to really key in on your gear for the following season and make sure you're as efficient as possible. I do an incredible amount of research before I purchase any hunting gear because I want my odds to be as high as possible. Any of the gear we run through today, I confidently put my stamp of approval on it, put my name and my reputation on the line endorsing these products. So we'll start with what I actually wear on my body. Regardless of what time the season is, I'm always gonna wear my Sitka Equinox pants unless it's like 100 degrees. So from early October all the way through late season, this is what I wear as my outer pant on my hike in. If it is cold, I'll pack my outer layers, strap them to my backpack and get dressed at my tree. The things I keep in my pockets are things that I want immediately available and just a single grab away. For example, my release. If I'm hiking in and I see a buck and he doesn't see me, I wanna be able to grab my release, clip on an arrow, and I'm, I'm ready to go. This is the Rave by Trueball. First year using this one, super excited about it. I always keep this in my right pocket. I'm right-handed, so I can just reach in, grab my release, clip on my string, and I'm ready to go. So the other thing I keep in my pockets is this little change purse. It's not filled with quarters. It's actually filled with dry milkweed, and I use this to check the wind. And I just pick pods at the end of summer, let them dry out, stick them in here, and then I have enough for a whole season. It only takes one or two pods to get you through an entire season, even if you're constantly checking the wind like I am. But I want this readily available, so if I'm hiking into my spot, I feel the wind change or I feel the wind, I can pull out the milkweed, let it fly, watch it, and I'm able to see exactly what the wind or the thermals are doing at that exact time. Make sure if I'm trying to catch a just off wind, I can monitor that very easily, so I want this readily available, easy access, and I keep that again in my right pocket right next to my release. In my left pocket, I carry my gloves. I don't like wearing gloves in all the time. I'm not touching branches or anything, so I'm not worried about leaving human scent, but it's just one more thing to get sweaty, one more thing to heat your body temperature up, so I generally just keep them rolled up, stuck in my left side pant pocket, put them on when I get settled in the tree, and I always know exactly where they are. So the last thing I keep in my pocket is this gear hanger here. And I just roll up the strap, kind of wrap it around itself. But it has three hooks and a buckle. And you just wrap it around the tree, cinch the buckle down, super strong. And that way I can hang my backpack, I can hang my bow, I can hang anything that I need. First thing I do, attach it to the tree so that way when I pull up all my gear, I have a place to put it while I'm getting set up. So on my belt, I always have my buck knife. This is just a small fixed blade knife, super maneuverable for gutting deer, but I like it on my hip. So in a pinch, I, if I need a knife quick, it's always right there, one grab away. Don't have to go digging through my backpack to get it. Next to my knife is the Streamlight ProTac. This is the two AA version. It's just a little bit bigger than a pen, but man, this thing is bright. Great for tracking deer and you can light up an entire field with just this little light here. So I keep that right on my belt. I got a little holster for it. Always know exactly where it is. I don't always use a stream light. I always utilize some type of headlamp, but it's nice to have that bright light that has some range to it in case I see some eye shine walking out or for tracking deer. So the last piece of gear that I wear on my physical body are binoculars. And these are the Vortex Crossfires. Great price point, super good quality, and they're not very expensive but I wear them on a bino harness, so they're always on my chest. I never feel that they get in the way, even when I'm shooting my bow or hanging my tree stand or anything like that. 
they're always there. So as I'm hiking in, if I need to do some glassing, boom, right there, drop them, let go, hands free, don't have to worry about them. I'm not digging through my pack for them, always accessible. So before we even get into the contents of the actual backpack, I can already see people commenting that the amount of gear I take into the woods is way too excessive. And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that you need every piece of equipment that I have in order to be successful. But if I didn't truly believe that every single item that I brought into the woods added some type of value that increased my odds of harvesting a buck, I wouldn't take it with me. This is all personal preference. This is the system that works for me. Figure out a system that works for you. If you have ideas about how I can better modify my system, drop those ideas in the comments. Maybe somebody else will get some value out of that as well. But let's get into the actual contents of the backpack. So the pack that I'm running is the Sitka Toolbox. I've been running this for three seasons now and it's an absolute workhorse. Whether I'm saddle hunting or carrying in a tree stand and sticks, I'm using this backpack. I'm not gonna get into how I actually transport my tree stand or my sticks with this backpack. I'll save that for another video. This is strictly the gear that I use, but again, this is a Sitka Toolbox, super cool backpack. This is a perfect tree stand backpack. It's big enough to hold all of my gear and have enough food and water for all day sits, and it has enough structure to it to carry heavy loads without being excessive. I always put everything in the same exact place, whether it's a pocket or a pouch, Everything goes in the same exact place every single time, and that helps me not forget things. If there's an empty pocket, I know exactly what's missing from it, so I can go find it, pack my bag correctly, and I'm off hunting. So on the side here, I have my camera arm. I self-film all of my hunts. This is the fourth arrow stiff arm, and I have a Manfrotto fluid head on it and a remote for my camera. Pretty solid camera arm. I wrapped it in camo tape just to quiet it down a little bit, deaden the noise and just so it blends in a little bit better. But I always have that right on the side of my pack there. On the other side here, I always have a Nalgene bottle. I got kind of a natural color water bottle here. Always bring water with me. I never know how long I'm gonna be in the woods, if I'm gonna be dragging out a deer, tracking a deer, so I always make sure to have enough water. If I'm doing an all day sit, I'll generally bring two of these and figure out where to put them in my backpack. I don't know how some of you just camel up and don't drink any water at all. Myself, I'm probably one of the most hydrated people you'll ever meet, so I always make sure to have enough water. This pack does have a nice waist belt on it and helps get that weight off of your shoulders and onto your hips. There's also a pocket on each side. In the waist belt pockets, I'll generally put hand warmers or snacks, depending on the time of the season. So the things in this top pocket are generally things I want quick access to, such as a screw and bow hook. If I am on private land, instead of using this gear hook, sometimes I will use a screw and bow hanger. It is kind of nice to have, just have that in there. I also have this guy, and this basically just blows the dust off the lens of my camera. Just to have quick access to, keep it up here. I'll usually have a protein bar in there. And then on the inside, I have a lens cloth. It folds up in this nice little pouch here, keeps it dry, keeps it clean. And I'm able to clean off the lens of my camera or my binoculars. Always good to have easy access to a lens cloth. Now let's get into the good stuff. I always pack my backpack in the order of how I'm gonna have to unpack my bag. So on top, I have rope. This is to pull up my bow. Sometimes I'll even pull up my pack with it. Always have rope first thing on top of my bag. So the next thing in my bag is my GoPro. And sometimes I pull this out and I use it as a selfie stick to film myself but I also just like to have it readily available. Basically wrap this around a branch and film myself setting up the rest of my gear or get some cool shots like that. I alternate what GoPro accessories I use quite a bit. I like this little tripod because I can set it up on the ground and use it as a true tripod, but it also has these bendy legs so I can wrap it around a tree branch and angle it down on myself if I want a cool over the shoulder look. I also like this little gooseneck mount for the GoPro. It actually had a longer neck to it and I popped off a bunch of them just to make it a little bit shorter. I'll just clip it onto a tree branch and then be able to bend it around to be able to point exactly where I want the camera. I also have this mount that you can either clamp on your gun or you could put it on the stabilizer of your bow. Last year I ran two GoPros. I had this one on my stabilizer and then I ran this one and I'd clip it to a tree branch so it'd be over my shoulder. It's nice to have options. These are super cheap. Again, these are the knockoffs. These aren't actually the true GoPro brand. So super inexpensive. You can probably get each one of these for like five or 10 bucks. In the late season, I'll put my Yeti Rambler in this pocket as well and have it filled full of soup or hot chocolate or coffee. And again, I wanna reiterate that I pack my bag in the order of how I need to unpack things. So right on top, I have my base. And this is for my self-filming setup from 4th Arrow. 
first thing that goes on the tree is this metal base. And you just strap it to the tree like this with a ratchet. And I'm able to do that super, super quiet because I've done it a million times. And then you drop this shoulder into it. So the shoulder drops into it. Again, I'm gonna make some noise here. I'm able to do it dead silent in the woods. And then the tree arm drops into that. So instead of a tripod, you're able to use this arm to video yourself from the tree and get really, really stable, good footage. So in the main compartment, I have my camera and I'll show you that and I'll show you how I pack it in just a second. But there's also these back pockets and side pockets on the inside here. And in the back one, I have this little mini folding saw. It's not very big at all. It's perfect if you need to trim a couple branches that are blocking your shot or if you're trying to hang your tree stand and you need to get something out of the way. I always put that in the same exact spot so I know exactly where it is and can get to it quick. And then on the other side, I keep my grunt call. And again, I know exactly where everything is. I put it in the same pocket every single time. So that way in the moment, I can reach over, grab it out of my backpack, know exactly where it's at, grunt, stop the buck, whatever. I think this is called the true talker. So then on the sides, on one side, I will keep my spare release. I've heard horror stories of people losing their release. I like the thumb trigger style release, so I always have a backup. I'm terrified of dropping it out of the tree, not being able to find it, or even worse, forgetting your release in the first place. So I always, always, always have a backup in my backpack because I'm not gonna let not having a release stop me from hunting. And then on the other side pocket here, basically looks like a plastic bag but I'm able to put it over my camera while it's raining, cinch it down and still get half decent footage without ruining my camera. So now for my actual camera, and I'll just pull this out. Generally, I just flip this top open, but for example's sake, so this is just an Amazon Basics camera case, but on the inside, what I've done, I think this might even just be a cereal container, but I wanted something a little more rigid to protect my camera. And I wrapped it in this backsided fleece adhesive just to quiet a little bit and to give it a little bit of padding. I did it on the inside as well. So I got my camera case here, but this goes inside it. I just set this out of the way for now. On top, I always have my mic just so that's protected. And then I have my Canon XA30. I don't think they make this version anymore, but there is a couple comparable models and I'll make sure to link those below. Awesome camera, it's not cheap but I would say it's definitely worth the money. The low light capabilities are extraordinary. And that's the thing that sets us apart from a lot of other cameras is the low light capabilities and the zoom. The, the optical zoom goes up to 20X where a lot of cameras only go up to 10X. A lot of cameras advertise a really, really big zoom, but that's a digital zoom and you lose quality if you go to a digital zoom versus an optical zoom. So this is a 20X optical zoom awesome camera and if you go to any of my hunting videos that i put out so far all were filmed with this thing right here for my shotgun mic this is by road i think it's the video might go i got a zip tied on here because i busted at turkey hunting still works great not super expensive great audio quality if you're serious about filming your hunts and don't have an external mic i highly encourage you to get one it's a relatively cheap investment and your quality will be light years ahead of somebody that just used the internal mic in the camera it looks like a lot of gear to unpack and then repack every single time I go hunting. A lot of this stuff stays in my backpack and I don't pull it out every single time. Everything I take into the woods with me serves a very specific purpose. It's either helping me document my hunt, making me more efficient, or giving me just a slight edge to trick that buck and get the job done. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about the gear in my pack, drop those below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you have ideas to help me be more efficient, I'm all ears. That's all I got for you guys. Like the video, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you next week.